St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for September 30th. It sometimes happens that, after we have won many victories over our old enemies, we think we have them completely conquered. Instead, they suddenly attack us from another angle, just when we least expect it. Solomon, the wisest man in the world, who had done many outstanding things in his youth, thought he would persevere in virtue for a long time. He seemed to be safe from every danger, yet was surprised by an enemy he feared least. From this fact, we learn two things. In the first place, distrust of ourselves together with holy fear and constant prayer for heavenly assistance. Secondly, we should realize that our enemies may be scattered, but not killed. From the life of St. Francis de Sales. On September 30th, 1598, Francis, his Bishop Claude de Granier, and the Bishop of St. Paul and all the clergy left Hanan early in the morning to meet the papal legate. When they learned that he was approaching the city, the Duke of Savoy also joined the party with all of his court. The Cardinal wanted, first of all, to be taken to the cathedral for adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. After this, the prince conducted the legate to the palace. There, having had a short rest, the cardinal received the magistrates and the lords of the province who came to pay their respects. Then, taking the hand of the provost, the Duke of Savoy presented Francis to the cardinal, saying these words in the hearing of many people, Your Eminence, this priest I present to you is the true apostle of the Chablais. He is a man blessed by God and sent to us from heaven. In his zeal for the salvation of souls, he has risked his own life to reestablish the faith in these provinces, a faith that has been forbidden for over seventy-two years. The cardinal embraced and thanked Francis, assuring him that he would report to the Pope all that he had heard about him. Francis blushed, and after making a deep reverence, could only stammer, that he was a useless servant. This attitude increased still further the high opinion that the cardinal had formed of the saint, who retired to the background as soon as he could to escape the eulogies and the congratulations that the lords of the court wanted to heap upon him.